So then guys, the M4 chips are rolling out into Max, and with the iMac 24 inch, we have the new M4 inside of it. But how does it compare to the last generation, which only came out a year ago with the M3 inside of it? What are the differences between the likes of the M4 iMac and also the M3 iMac? If we did a comparison review here of specs um, doing this, what would be the difference between both of them? Well, the good news is today I'm going to do exactly that. I'm going to do a review of specs if we did the iMac M4 versus the iMac M3. So let's take a look. So what we have here then guys is that we have the iMac 24 inch M4 on the left and then we have the M3 on the right here and let's get started then with this comparison and as you'll notice probably the main differences is to do with the actual chip as we go through this. So starting out with the display type we actually have an LED retina display in both of these iMac 24 inch. This is the same uh, retina display that we've had now probably for about the last sort of 12 years now since Apple introduced a retina display into an iMac so it's exactly the sort of same technology. No no sort of differences there very very clear sort of display but the actual screen size what we're actually getting is a 23.5 inch display on both of these iMacs. They're exactly the same screen technology inside of them if you get the M4 or the M3 model. Um, with that as well, this results into a 4.5K display. And in fact, why I say that is because you can see next of all on the screen resolution that the display resolution is exactly the same. We're actually getting a 4,480 by 2,520 on both of these models. So exactly the same, like I said, here on that 4.5K display. And what this basically means is that in pixels per inch, you're getting 218 pixels per inch or PPI on both of them. So again, a very clear display on a 24 inch display, especially at the distance that you sit away from an iMac of this size. So it's gonna be shoot super sharp for you. One thing that I would say would might let down the screen a little bit is that obviously it's only got a refresh rate of 60 Hertz with this. So yeah, not the most powerful powerful refresh rate, only 60 hertz, still very good for everyday kind of use. And this is what the iMac sort of designed that. It's not really fully designed for pro people. Obviously you can get pro tools and use them on this iMac on either of them, but it's just a 60 hertz display refresh rate on this. And what we actually get then with brightness and true tone, well, we get true tone on both of these iMacs, but we actually get a 500 nits SDR quality. That's how bright these displays go. So what I would say is if you do have it in a room, I wouldn't face it directly into a window with sun beaming on it. You know, you might need it against the uh, sort of sunlight to actually see the display. So just be aware of that, but still overall a very good display for an iMac. For the processor and the CPU, this is where things change completely. This is where we're getting the biggest upgrade between the M3 and the M4 because this is the point, we're getting the new chip. So the Apple M4 is a 10 core CPU, we can go up to that. There's also the nine core version two, what you can also pick from, but with the 10 core, this gives you four performance cores and six efficiency cores, and then also you've got the 10 core GPU two. Whereas with the iMac 24 inch, the M3 one, you've only got the eight core CPU, and you've got the choice of either a nine or 10 core GPU. So one of the actual GPU cores is been there on the choice that you can pick from. So this is where the difference is here. So obviously you're definitely getting more CPU cores and definitely more GPU cores in the M4 and obviously because the M4 is made on a better process, a newer process, the actual speed and efficiencies are far better with this and actually you'll see this difference here like we can see with the Geekbench 6 sort of scores that we've got and this was obviously taken from an iPad because the iPads had the M4 inside of it but you can see the difference here straight away that the likes of the iMac 24 inch with an M4 inside it's going to get a multi-core score of around about 15,200 or even 300, whereas the multi-core performance on an iMac 24 inch M3 only just gets over 11,000 there. So there is a big difference what you can see here. We're getting about a quarter more performance here, 25% more performance out of the M4 inside that iMac 24 inch. But then for the actual RAM, this is where we are seeing a difference. Apple have finally changed the base amount of RAM that we get inside. So with the M3, we have the choice of eight, 16, 
or 24 gigabytes of RAM. But now at last, it starts at 16. We've also got a choice of 24 and also 32 gigabytes of RAM inside of the new iMac with an M4 inside of it. But then moving on to the actual storage, well, nothing really has changed here whatsoever. You've got the choice of starting at 256 gigabytes of storage, and this can go all the way up to two terabytes, so 512, and then also the one terabyte, and then finally the two terabyte option on here. And both of them offer exactly the same amount of storage with this. And we'll have to actually physically test out if the storage is any faster inside the M4 than the M3. But then on to ports then, there is also no differences here whatsoever. So what we've got is we've got a choice of up to four times USB-C ports. And what this means is that if you went for the fully loaded M4 version and also the fully loaded M3 version, you would get four USB-C ports on the back and then also you'd get two just normal USB free ports or USB-C free ports, you know, what's what you'd get there. And then also you'd get the optional ethernet port in the power unit too, what goes in the power brick, what goes into the back of the iMac. But if you go for the more bin down version, well, you'd get two less USB-C ports and you won't get that ethernet port, but at least those USB-C ports, they will be Thunderbolt 4 or USB 4 speeds. So that is great news to hear. For operating system though, they both run Mac OS 14 Sequoia, which is really great to hear. And then obviously they can both run Apple Intelligence, so Mac OS 14.1, what's also great to hear. So you can use all of those advantages, especially like the writing tools right now with Mac OS 14.1. Um, and then obviously we do have 14.2 with more tools coming out and both of these iMacs will be able to utilize that. For weight wise, if you do ever need to pick them up, well, really there's no difference in weight. They both weigh about 4.43 kilograms. Maybe the 24 inch M4 might be slightly heavier by a gram or two. Not much in it really when it's this heavy, but at least you can pick it up and move it somewhere else around your home or office or whatnot. So it's good to know that. It's not the heaviest of desktops out there. For stereo speakers, well, both of these have the exact same stereo speakers with them. It's a six times speaker setup with woofers that was first introduced back in 2021 and it's exactly the same here and there's some great speakers in here for an all-in-one um, desktop machine that we have like the iMac and so in fact some of the best sort of speakers as an all-in-one machine that we have so this is really really great to see again for Wi-Fi speeds we've got Wi-Fi 7 now on the M4 iMac 24 inch but we still only got Wi-Fi 6e on the M3 model what's still very very good and respectable but obviously you just got the newer technology with the M4. For webcams though, we've got the exact same webcam or center stage camera. What well, is a single lens 1080p camera in both of these? So this is really, really great to see again in both of these models. And this is gonna be really, really useful if you want to do any kind of webcam kind of footage, both as clear as each other there. But then for the actual price, the good news is the price is staying exactly the same for the 256 gigabytes base storage configuration. So this starts at 1,299 US dollars for both of these machines, what is great to see. But the only obviously big difference is with the M4 is that you'd get 16 gigabytes of RAM as the base amount. Now I would say that if you can get yourself a good deal on the M3 iMac 24 inch with eight gigabytes of RAM, you're happy with that? Go for it, especially if it's like $400 less or so than the M4. And if you can get yourself an M3 for say $200 less than say an M4, 1,299 with 16 gigabytes of RAM, that's also a really good configuration to get to because obviously that will really, really help you out. But then for the actual colors, well, they're exactly the same and you get seven color choices what you can pick from. So this is blue, green, pink, silver, yellow, purple, and orange. But obviously one of the things I will add in there is it depends again on if you're gonna go for the binned M4 or the normal M4 is that you'll get all the colors available or not. But with that then guys, are you gonna be upgrading yourself to a new iMac? So there we have it then guys, that is the new iMac 24 inch or 23.5 inch if you wanna be specific there. Like I said, the big differences in my opinion is definitely that M4 inside of it. And I'd also say probably the Wi-Fi. that is probably really it. There's not much else difference between these sort of iMacs right now. Personally, in my opinion, I would say if you have one of the new design iMacs right now, there might not be much point in upgrading unless you need 
need more RAM, obviously. Then obviously, if you go from an M1 iMac to say the sort of M4 iMac with 16 gigabytes of RAM, that's really gonna help. And the same I'd even say if you've got one of the older 27 inch iMacs, as long as you know you don't have like 128 gigabytes of RAM inside of it, but if you've got say 16 or 24 gigabytes of RAM or something like that, obviously the utilizations and everything with the M4 would really, really help you out here. So any more or less than say 24 gigabytes of RAM, I'd even upgrade to the 16 gigabyte RAM option of the new M4 iMac, in my honest opinion, out here. Because obviously Apple are retiring support for iMacs with Intel chips inside of it, and it's not gonna be a lot long now until they actually completely scrap that. So yeah, just be aware of that. But with that as well, guys, are you impressed by the new M4 iMac? And are you gonna potentially get one? Well, let me know in the comments below. And with that as well, guys, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. And also, if you wanna hear the latest Apple news, reviews, and comparisons too, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell. Until next time, guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.